The Win Explorer view emulates the Microsoft Windows Explorer UI. The DevExpress Demo Center showcases the Win Explorer view in different scenarios. In one of the demos, the view is used to recreate the file manager experience. Much like in Windows Explorer, there are seven display types from large image display to a simple list. Coupled with context buttons and custom grouping features, the Win Explorer view allows you to create a highly customizable image gallery. Let's start with a grid control that displays data using the default grid view format. Run the application and examine the available data, which includes car information with images. Let's try to create a more elegant layout by switching the view to the Win Explorer type. To do so, use the grid's level designer. After you've switched the view type, the grid becomes empty and you need to build the layout manually. The Win Explorer view is designed to visualize four main data fields, image in four different sizes, text, description, and checkbox. Additionally, you can specify a column that will apply data grouping and a column that manages an item's enabled state. All these columns are specified within the column set section. Assign the model name column to the text column property and the image column to the small image column property. Note that if not all image sizes have been associated with a column, the view will automatically resize images when you switch between display styles. Now set the remaining primary column set properties, description, and checkbox. If you launch the app, you can see that nothing has changed. To show checkboxes, you need to expand Options View and set the Show Checkboxes property to True. As you can now see, checkboxes appear next to each item, checked if the corresponding field value is true. Item descriptions are only displayed in Select Display Styles, which is specified by the Style property under Options View. Change the value to content and run the application to see the description displayed in this layout. You can add a control to the ribbon to allow end users to select one of the seven available display styles. Write the handler that changes the style property value depending on the selected drop down item. Now launch the app and see how it works by trying different styles. Now return to design time and hide the checkboxes by setting the show checkboxes property back to false, and then assign the in stock column to the enabled column property instead of checked column. If you launch the app, you can see that now items for sold out cars appear grayed out and not clickable. Finally, you can group your data against values in a column assigned to the group column property. To group cars by category, first set the group column property to the category name column. You can see the grouping applied to items in content and medium styles. Note that when you click a group caption, all of its items are selected, but the group itself is not collapsed. To give your end users the ability to expand and collapse these groups, go to the Views Options View section and set the Show Expand Collapse buttons to True. Now, next to each group's caption, a small Expand Collapse button is displayed.